Welcome to Chucks and Chapstick. If it is your first time at Chucks and Chapstick, I say go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then tap, tap, tap on that notification bell so that you never miss another Chucks and Chapstick upload. However, if you're back for more unboxing shenanigans, they are headed your way. Which box do I have today? I actually don't have a box at all today. I actually had a box two weeks ago. I'm filming this intro really late. So, no unboxing shenanigans, no first time pulling it out the box reactions. We're just going to head right into the try-on. See you on the other side. I love this dress. The print is so pretty and feminine and flirty. Uh, it's off the shoulder and it has this little rubbery piece on the inside. You can't really see it to keep the shoulders in place. A nice split that isn't too revealing. A nice thin flowy fabric. No pockets, but not every dress needs pockets. So I really thought that I was so cute in this dress until I couldn't zip it up. It was about two sizes too small. Um, so overall, I love this dress, but unfortunately it didn't work because of the sizing. So, as you all know, this is my baby, Eva. <laughs> she is going to show you the pants. <laughs> She's going to show you the pants that I received for me. These are the pants. Turn around. They got a little extra room back here. But, hold on. Let's get closer. That says 16W from Cut from the Cloth. Turn around. <laughs> So they would not have fit me if they fit my child. <laughs> Eva. <laughs> what a clown. Clearly they are mislabeled. I just thought it was really funny, that's all. But anyway. So I saw another YouTuber get this dress and immediately fell in love with all the colors. So I was excited to see it in my trunk. This flowy maxi dress, while not stretchy, it has lots of flow very breathable fabric um, I like the way it just moves the top of it was a little small at the breast but a little too big under the arms it has adjustable straps the cool thing about trunk club though is that they have in-house tailors to make adjustments so I think I'm just gonna get some adjustments made it is a true wrap dress guys so just be aware of that if the wind blows everyone could see your zoom zooms and your wham whams so here's another city chic dress. I really like the color. It's smocked at the top and off the shoulder. So it is nice and stretching. I do like the bottom half with the two splits up the side. This was really a very cute and flattering dress and very comfortable. Um, no pockets. That's okay. Again, not every dress needs pockets. My problem with City Chic is that they are very expensive for the quality of their clothes. So while I love this dress, I did not think it garnered the $100 price tag. Um, here's another City Chic top. It was sent in a size, like two sizes too small. It doesn't really matter because I don't like it anyway. I think the print is really, yeah. And it was too tight and it has this lining and I just didn't like it. So whatever. So on to these red Vince Camuto pants. I did not expect to like these pants. They have a side zip with a hook and eye closure, which I hate that feature in pants, but it's easily changed. Um, very stretchy material. It's straight leg pants. Usually I'm not in a straight leg, but there was something about these pants. I mean, mwah, bellissimo. The color was just fire. The fit was beautiful. It has vents on the side of the ankles, which you'll see here soon. I can just envision these over a pair of pointy toe boots in the fall. I love these pants. So I'm just going to cut to the chase here. There's nothing about this shirt that I like. I don't like the ruffles. I don't like how incredibly see-through it is. I don't like the way it drapes over my body. Um, I just, I don't like it. 
And the strange thing is that those um, stripes that are glittery are incredibly scratchy inside the shirt. And at the price of $85, there's really nothing to consider here. So here's another surprise hit. This top is by the brand Lucky Brand. And I typically don't go for Lucky Brand because it reminds me of more of country chic look. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not me. But I thought this was really cute on. It's very stretchy. It's very comfortable. The only thing is, is that I don't know how I would wear a bra under it because that top part you could see right through to the top of my bra. So I don't know. But other than that, I thought this top was just a real surprising hit. So these pants are made by the brand Slink and Slink is a brand that I have absolutely fallen in love with over the last several months. I did not think I was going to like these because of the length but oh my goodness I actually thought they were super cute on. Slink is a brand that has a lot of stretch but not so much stretch that it doesn't like hold you in it fits at a great point on my waist I just feel like they're for people who are shaped like me they're just a real win and I love them so the last piece in this ensemble is another piece that I saw in the preview and hated and actually ended up loving in person this bag is by the brand top shop it is magnetized so that it stays closed um, without any kind of snaps or anything. Um, in addition to that, it comes with the cute tassel, a little strap to kind of keep around your wrist, but then it also has the uh, crossbody straps you can wear to cross you. So this was a super hot bag. So both of the next two items are by City Chic and they were both sent in sizes that were too small. So it's hard for me to have an opinion about fit and feel and all that other stuff when the tops were too small. This one wasn't too bad of quality, but this red one, I cannot explain in words how poor the quality of this top is. And City Chic is pretty expensive, so I'm just really surprised. I also own some City Chic stuff, and you can see that the quality has declined over the last few years. This is not my stylist's fault, but I did ask that she not send me any more City Chic items because they're not worth my time or energy to try on due to the price and lack of quality. So tell me, what do you think about this trunk club? Overall, I thought that there were some really nice pieces. Some things uh, had some issues with fit, but there were only a few pieces that when I looked at, I was like, mm -mm, immediately. Um, I'm glad that I uh, allowed her to send a few of those pieces to me in my trunk because, again, with trunk club, when they initially set up your trunk, they send you a preview and you can decline items and they'll replace them. A few of the items that were on the original trunk, when I saw them, I was like, eh, but then I'm just like, ah, take a chance, you might like it, and ended up liking them pretty well. What did I get? I got the red Vince Komodo pants, I got the leaf dress that was the multicolored stripe, and then I got the purse. So three items that I got, um, I'm very happy with them. I think that I'll get plenty of wear out of both of them at least. One of them I might have to wait until the fall or winter too, but overall I'm really happy. Some of these boxes, it's just going to take time before you kind of hit a bit of a stride, you know. And that's not to say that they're not going to have misses, but overall, you know, they just kind of get to know you. And I have bought things for myself. My, I am my own shopper and I bought things for myself and two months later I'm like girl what in the world was you thinking when you purchased it for real uh excuse me was you drunk after hitting the sauce you were saucy online shopping so I, I can't be mad at a stylist who only has you know email communication and a survey to go off of to style me so one thing I did want to mention as well um the reason why I don't really mention my link to Trunk Club as much is because it doesn't give you guys any kind of discount. If you sign up and you purchase something, I get a $50 credit, but it doesn't get you anything. So even though I would really appreciate it, I really would like you guys to get something too. So if I'm the only person who gets something out of it, does everybody win? No, everybody doesn't win. 
I hope you enjoyed this trunk. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, or you just want to say hello, you know to do it below. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye!